It's 6 a.m. Welcome to the breakfast show. Who's up at 6 a.m.? My wife's leaving me. My dad didn't get up at 6 a.m. and he was a fucking miner. <laughs> Unlikely small hours. <laughs> Did you see a hit and run in the Cromwell Road on Tuesday night? Please get in touch because I'm keen to silence any witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Flavor. The flavor today is Frankie Boyle and Mock the Week Part 6 in Who Should Not Be Welcomed at Your Local Schools. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at Mock the Week Part 6 with Frankie Boyle in Who Should Not Be Welcomed at Your Local Schools. You didn't hear at the Olympics. I am the little girl from the opening ceremony. This is my real voice. <laughs> <laughs> voice. Next, the rhythmic gymnastics. You might want to start beating out your own rhythm at home. <laughs> Next, over to Gabby Logan, who's going to tell us whether or not she's a transvestite. <laughs> What's the announcer? Then? Nobody can touch this Russian gymnast except their coach and their uncle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chinese athlete with number 36 in his chest. That means he's a chicken chow man. <laughs> <laughs> a surprise in the canoeing where the British athlete has gone missing. <laughs> 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 Lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi film. We've discovered an alien queen, and she's laid enough eggs to take over the galaxy. This writing, it says, Katona. <laughs> <laughs> Use the force, Luke. I've run out of lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> the androids are going berserk, Captain. Let's try switching them off and then on again. Vader, <laughs> you look like a big black dildo. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being a Vulcan, Captain. Due to my death grip, I can't masturbate. <laughs> Captain, the ethereal sounds being made by this beautiful dying creature from another world is some funky shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's an all the way back to Scotty. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on the radio. <laughs> In that episode of the Hugh Dennis story, Hugh Dennis was played by Bruce Willis, Steve Punt was played by Hugh Dennis, and the band was Shawaddy Waddy. <laughs> Next, a book at bedtime. Martin Jarvis reads the speeches of Hitler in a high-pitched girl's voice. <laughs> Here on Traffic Watch, we're predicting long delays on the M4, but I'm about to hit my ex-wife's car with this helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've certainly stumped the Gardener's Question Time panel. None of us know how to bring a fox to orgasm. <laughs> wow. Wow. 6 a.m. Welcome to the breakfast show. Who's up at 6 a.m.? My wife's leaving me. My dad didn't get up at 6 a.m. and he was a fucking miner. <laughs> Unlikely small hours. Did you see a hit and run in the Cromwell Road on Tuesday night? Please get in touch because I'm keen to silence any witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Legs, bums, and tums wanted by cannibal. <laughs> Are you an alcoholic? There's a sale on at Oddbins. <laughs> Are you looking for a plumber who'll do a good job at a reasonable price? You've got no chance. No chance. Are you no struggling chance. to get out of the bath? It's pretty much game over for you then. Oh, no, no. Unlikely things to hear oh, oh, oh. on Question Time. Wow! 
I'm going to take a question from a black man without mentioning that he's black. The man in the red jumper, please. <laughs> <laughs> a good question there. Is the BBC dumbing down? What do you think, Barry Chuckle? <laughs> <laughs> Question time. Tonight we're in Norwich. Let's say hello to the audience. Look, men from Magic Picture Box. Go speaky speaky. <laughs> <laughs> if your dog isn't here, Mr. Blunkett, who's sniffing my balls? <laughs> <laughs> Is Britain becoming more misogynist? Let's ask this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear in a travel documentary. This man lives under a sheet of tarpaulin and has to walk for three hours every morning just to get a drink of muddy water. Nonetheless, he is happy to be mayor of Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing to think that I'm the first white face these people have ever seen. And the last. <laughs> <laughs> On our third day of filming, an incredible discovery. Hippos are just men in costumes. <laughs> Don't make the mistake I made. Nudists aren't welcome on every beach. <laughs> or at the local schools. Oh, yeah! After an arduous three-day bus journey, we finally reached the place Ryanair said we were flying to. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a TV detective show. <laughs> I cut myself on a glass in your bar. I'd throw that away if I were you. <laughs> because I'm Kachalski, the HIV positive detective. <laughs> <laughs> so what can we tell from these bite marks on the breasts? We can tell that I shouldn't be left alone with a body. <laughs> You can tell that I shouldn't be left alone at a, with a body. And you know that's not welcome at local schools. Those, those local nudists. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. My man right here, coming, coming to you with part six. I hope you enjoyed it. You want part seven? All right, I'm going to give you part seven. I'm going to give you part seven. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time, this is